I took lessons when I was a little kid and then I continued. I mean, I played a lot by ear and then I, uh, in high school, the thing that the pivotal moment was when I uh, uh, actually brought up a college that was a, a really great uh, teacher's college in my hometown. And when I was uh, 15, my father uh, introduced me to this pianist that was going to college. He was from Canada and he played with a guitar player from Boston. You know, so it was interesting. It was kind of like, uh, you know, one of these little places like um, from northern exposure, like Sicily, Alaska, <laughs> and all these very interesting people. It was very interesting times, but it attracted uh, these students from all over the country. And so uh, uh, these two musicians had a duet and they, they played like in one of the local bars in my town. And uh, my father heard him play and he asked, he asked the pianist if he would teach me, you know, because I had an interest in jazz, but I didn't, mm, I, I didn't really know that that much. I could play some blues and things like that. Anyway, my uh, when when I went to the first lesson, uh, and I heard him play, that changed my life. I knew that day, that's what I wanted to do. So it was very interesting. I mean, I guess that that is a rare thing when you kind of get, you know, a moment like that, and and. Uh, and so it, it just goes to show that, I mean, no, no matter where you are in the world, you know, music or the arts, whatever, can, you know, they arrive, they get there, but it's really through, I mean, man, thank God that uh, that particular pianist was there and was open to teaching, you know, and he saw, you know, he saw talent in me and, and it took me on. The, the funny thing is, is that he wouldn't accept any money from my, from my parents. You know, he, but my my father, being a farmer and a rancher, he said, "Well, he supplied him with a side of beef." You know, <laughs> it was great. Thank mm -hmm. you. 